has still not scored a touchdown in the preseason. Eli Manning played in their first five drives last night, but the offense only scored three points. We're joined by FS1 NFL analyst Eric Dickerson. Good morning. Welcome back, Good morning. Eric. How you doing? Good morning. How concerned should the Giants be about their offense? Uh, very concerned when you can't run the football. I mean, I know people say that the, the running game is not important anymore, but, but the running game is very important. And when I think of Giants football, I think of a team that used to run the football. Yep. They can't run the football anymore. They have stars, Odell Beckham, uh, now Brandon Marshall. They have big playmakers. But if you run the football, it, it loosens everything up. And the offensive line is not that good right now. You know, um, Eli Manning is getting older. You know, he can't take those hits. So I think they should be very concerned. Defense, I think they're good. But offensively, not that good. Mm. What do you think, Shannon? Yeah, they should be scared. No, uh, they should be very concerned because as we look at the Giants going to the playoffs last year, it wasn't because of the offense; it was because of their defense carried mm -hmm. them. Now they went out and got Brandon Marshall, they Evan Ingram, first round pick at tight end. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be, be They were supposed to be better on that side of the football. And Skip, I get it; it's preseason, second game, but <laughs> as you're supposed to try to build momentum going into the season, I remember when we were in Denver. Now. Mike would say, okay, we're going to play X amount of plays. If we look good, boom, we done. <laughs> but if we look bad, they're like, I don't know what y'all looking at, y'all coming out, y'all going back in there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would be shocked if the Giants starters, now Odell probably won't play, if they didn't play all the way to the third quarter in this next preseason game, the third preseason game, I would be shocked. Well, they almost played to halftime in the second preseason. Because he's trying. I agree. He's trying to find a yeah. rhythm. He's trying to find momentum to yep. get them to get them uh, up to speed. Mm -hmm. Because he knows. Yep. Oh, he's on the hot seat, Skip. He's he, he coaching for his job. Can I ask you something, Ed? Yes. That that hit on uh, Odell Beckham. Was that was that dirty? Oh, here we go. I mean, it looked legal to me. Looked legal no, to me. I, yeah, and that shit wasn't legal. I asked you, was it dirty? <laughs> They're two different things. Now. They're not mutually exclusive. <laughs> now you're right about that. It looked it, it dirty. You're dirty. I mean, but I'll say this much here. Keep this in mind, because I think about when I played. That was a good hit. Hey, get up, shake it off, and walk back to the huddle, or stay on the ground. But you know, back then when you played, they were going for your head. They were they, they, they they trying, they, they trying to knock you out. <laughs> but they did the same thing. You know, you, 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 know, you, know, you know a dirty player and a dirty player. Thank See, you. I, I love how Shannon Sharp changes the subject when he knows he's in trouble on the subject that we're supposed to be talking about, which is Giants in trouble, he has to change it to, was that a dirty play? Because it takes the focus off the Giants' offense. Because Shannon Sharp picked the Giants to get to the Super Bowl, and he just admitted the coach is oh, on the hot seat. He is. Wow. So the, your Super Bowl pick has a coach on the hot seat mm -hmm. and an offense that is offensive, to say the least, oh, right? Shaky. They shake yeah. it. Oh, they they're they're shaky they, 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 Now, I'm, I'm going to give you this. That defense is hellacious. Yeah. It is really good, and they were really good last night against an offense that's getting better. Cleveland's got some talent on both sides of the ball they now. Do. Hugh Jackson can flat out coach. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. Give him a little time he can coach. And you know Greg Williams can coach he coach can, defense he now. Can coach. <laughs> and they started to come alive on that side of the ball. Yes. But last night, the Giants offense once again did not score a touchdown. So they haven't even scored one touchdown in the preseason. And yet, this isn't a new issue. This is an old issue. Because if you go back to the last six games of last year, the games that counted. Yeah. They averaged 15 points a game in the last six. They didn't score above 19 in any of those six, including the playoff loss at Lambeau, mm -hmm. thanks to Odell, who went to South Stop, Beach. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to throw that yeah, in. Yeah, I know. So, to Eric's point, they can't run the ball because they don't even have a Darren McFadden or an Alfred Morris in that group, right? I mean, Paul Perkins, Paul Perkins. Shane Vereen can catch it out of the backfield, but he can't run it between the tackle. It, and Darkwa, and I like Wayne Gallman. It, it would help if they had a Travis but, Frederick, but, too. But, you know, it's not about the tackle. You, you have to have a lane to you, run you through. You do. Right? Anytime you get penetration to the backfield, especially for a running game, mm -hmm. the play's over with. It's right. like a quarterback. If I get my hand in your face, that it's not going to be a good pass nine times out of ten. Same mm -hmm. thing with the running game. When the, when the, when the penetration in the backfield, yeah. and that's what happens with the Giants. Yeah. They can't stop penetration. Okay, so they can't run block or pass protect. And it starts with the left tackle. Eric Flowers, he seems like a good kid, but he is really shaky. He had, I thought he did a pretty good job with Miles Garrett last night. That may say more about Miles Garrett than about right. Eric yeah. Flowers. It might. Right. Because Eric Flowers has had a hard time. Eli last year threw 16 interceptions, which tied for fourth in the NFL. As you say, he's getting older, but he's always been a big interception thrower. Yeah, he's a high turnover. Okay? Yeah. And now 
the one injury we didn't talk about, because everybody focused on the Emmy-winning performance by... <laughs> Stop his guilt! <laughs> but, but come on. Brandon Marshall, who's getting up there in years... 33. I don't know what happened. He... He, he, he short armed the pass that he should have laid out and caught, but it's a preseason game. But he still took a shot to the shoulder, and now he's got to get it checked right. out, MRI mm -hmm. today. Yeah. So he might be an issue going forward. I, I liked Evan Ingram. He caught three balls last night. We knew he could play. Yep. But but seriously, they're going to have a hard time scoring, so they're going to have to win a bunch of 10 to 7 games yeah. the way they beat my Cowboys last year yep. at their place, right? 20, 26th in scoring, 25th in total offense, Skip. You would have thought that bringing in Evan Ingram, bringing in uh, Brandon Marshall, yeah. now you can ha have someone that can help lift coverage off of Odell. They would be a lot better. But as, easy, as ED said, when you can't run the football, and it's not that, okay, the backs are missing the hole. Skip, he's getting the ball, and there's two guys standing right there in front of him. Mm -hmm. He can't even put his foot in the dirt to make a cut. Yep. So what's he? So, and, uh, oh, Paul Perkins is terrible. Well, I don't know if Paul Perkins is terrible. I just know that offensive line can't block for him, so I can't really see what Paul Perkins can do or anybody can do. Eric Dickerson couldn't run behind that. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, I couldn't run. Behind. But but how, but Eric you pick, Dickerson but, could run behind. But, but how'd you line. pick them for the Super Bowl? Because I thought they would be better. You thought? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> He, I got, he got, got, we know they got defense. He got, they, me picking, he got me picking the Super Bowl in late June. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I, wait, ain't nobody playing no game. Do you want to switch no, already? No, you can. No, I will no, let you no, switch. Oh, no. you let him switch? Yeah. No. We switch yeah. I'm three, four times last well, year. I'm expecting Zeke, but, you know, Zeke going to be on He's going to be on his boat. You know, he bought a boat in Dallas. He's going to be going around. And off, off there, you do what you want to do. So I got no, one, I no. Got <laughs> not if you ain't playing no game, you ain't going to do what you want to <laughs> do. I got one other name for you, and this is going to haunt you all year. What? You ready? Aldrich Rosas. Do you know who that is? No. He is going to be the kicker for your New York football giants because I think he's going to win the battle with Mike Nugent. Mike Nugent. He's completely untested. He got drafted, or not drafted, he, he tried out for Tennessee, got cut by Tennessee out of Southern Oregon, the Raiders. We all know them, Southern Oregon Raiders, no. right? Mm -mm. And so he's never kicked in an NFL game. He tried out with my Cowboys last year. They said no. But they got Dan so Bailey like you was going to make the team. This is it. Well, I'm just saying that you're, you're going to have to count on Aldrich Rosas to win games in which your offense is scoring 15 points a game, and he's going to have to make a late field goal to win it what, 18 what, what, to 16. Well, tell me what Dan's going to do with Jack Rabbit. Okay, he's had a hard time. Uh, what, I give you that. And what, what's uh, uh, Bryce you know Butler what? and, and Terrence Wynn, what are they going to do with DRC That's over it. there? Crow Marty. What about Landon Collins? You know Jason Wynn ain't going to get nothing on Landon. I, I, I want to know what the, the whole secondary is going to do with little Measley Beasley and Ryan Switzer. Now we got two little Smurfs in this slot. Bust them up. <laughs> pew, pew, JPP. Pew, pew. Olivier Vernon. Yeah. You know y'all ain't going to be able to run not against yeah. big snacks. Yeah. Snacks, they know you get nothing and like, like it. Like. And, and who is going to defend Rico Gathers, the basketball player? Landon out Collins. Landon Collins. That's what I got, I Landon, Collins. Good Landon Collins. Good luck to Landon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so now you. We're 6'6 six, six here. Oh, so now you on Rico six, six. Gathers. Yes, sir. Hold up, Rico Gathers. A concussion he suffered in practice, but he's going to be okay. So, I mean, you he's untested, right? Well, I, I don't know. Oh, he, you he, know he led. He's the all-time leading rebounder in Baylor basketball history. Is that, you, is that you UCLA watch. or is that Carolina? That's huh? basketball. It's football yeah. now. Yeah, we're talking about you football. You played in the Southwest Conference. That was a real conference back in the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a football conference. That was a football conference. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, did football Mike conference. Singletary not play at Baylor? Mm. Hold on. How about he it? played basketball. You I already admitted to me. You saw Rico Gathers one time, and you said he can play. Yeah, he can play. Yes, but I saw Landon Collins a lot of times. He can really, really play. He can play. But you know what? Des Bryant has committed this whole offseason to Jackrabbit to get an even. Game number one at Jerry World, the night of, what is it, September? I don't even know what don't it is. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. Jackrabbit got it marked on his calendar. Yep. Hey, Clips. I'm, I'm already out Block there. Block him out of here, though. Mr. Dickerson, I'm already out there. My Cowboys will get revenge in that game. They will win that game with or without Zeke, and it looks like it's you going know, to be I, I, way I, I, without Zeke. I hate Zeke. to say it, and I, like I say I'm not a Cowboy fan. Mm -hmm. now. Come on, you got to be objective. Come on, okay, be objective. Be objective. No, don't don't, don't hate on the Cowboys so much. You know, I, you don't care for them either. I agree with you, Skip. Thank I think you. they win that. I think they win that game. Come on. I mean, well, you want to bet something? I bet something. <laughs> I bet. A case of uh, what I want. Hen, hen, hen. No, I want no hen. I'm, I'm gonna be sure. done with hen. I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna turn up this weekend. I'm gonna be done with it. Uh, I want a case of Fanta grape soda. Okay, and you, you know what I want? No, I want RC. Oh, and you know I, want I want RC. You know what I want? They don't even make it no hey, more. I, 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 want, want? I want. I want a, a box of, of golf balls. I ain't playing golf right now. My back, Jack. Right. Okay. But I want. I want. To, uh, what kind of golf balls you want? Uh, Titleist. Titleist. Okay. Pro V1X. Pro V1X.
Well, Forty-seven dollars. Oh, hey, hey, I go to Tiger. Tiger oh. got a bunch of golf balls. He ain't using. I go get his. <laughs> I go steal his. I'm surprised you're not backing off your bet. What? No, Jack Rabbit got this. But all this, everything we just talked about. He showed up to Cowboy Stadium in cowboy boots. Jack Rabbit in cowboy boots. You ever see that? <laughs> no, I don't see. <laughs> so what's it going to be? Giants win three to nothing on all the grosses field goal. I don't care. Aldrich grosses. You know, a win is a win. A, a win is a win. Either you know, when we were in high school, you could win by penetration. Yeah, Whoever sure moved, <laughs> oh, move got over the fifty yard line. <laughs> yeah. Fifty yard line. A most first down. Yeah, you may need that. No, don't yeah. matter. Dance yeah. Bryant will not. I see you getting shaken. No, there. not against Jack. Shaking. I love Jack Rabbit. Yeah. Anytime Jack Rabbit's in the building, somebody go this down. Is be death Something gonna pop off, Ed. I'm telling you now. We'll I, I gotta go to Cowboys. And he might be on the hook for I a lot. I think you might be an undercover cowboy. Absolutely not. He always <laughs> absolutely not. Hey, you know, I just kind of like I see it. I'm kind of like I see it. I'm being honest. Who is the best running 